Hi, this is Rick Rice from HighDefColor.com. Today's tutorial, Never Convert to CMYK, is a cool little export option out of InDesign CS5 that will eliminate the need to ever convert to CMYK. This cool little RGB workflow will eliminate a lot of disk space and save you a lot of time along with the, a lot of confusion regarding having two files of the same image. You can see we have an image here that's uh, created in InDesign CS5. It consists of a uh, RGB bitmap image. You can see that our color space is RGB and it is tagged with the Adobe RGB color profile. We also have a CMYK Adobe Illustrator image which is, uh, is a vector graphic. And It's important to note that the image is created with different values of gray. Um, this is important because these color values of gray are built with black only and we want to make sure we do not re-separate this into a four color gray. We also have a series of color swatches that are placed as, uh, as Pantone colors. Also take note that we are using the LAB values of these colors. So once we are ready to, uh, to go to press, we're going to do a simple export option um, out of InDesign CS5 and we're going to utilize the Adobe PDF X4 standard. Now once we select PDF X4 we're going to save our file and we're going to go into the export Adobe PDF presets. Select X4 and change your compatibility to the PDF 1.7 standard. Select our page and then go through the individual tabs here. Our compression, we want to keep these values the same where we're going to be downsampling to 300 pixels per inch when our image is greater than 450 pixels per inch. This will allow for a much faster upload uh, to the uh, color server at highdefcolor.com. Our marks and bleeds, two things. Select our crop marks and change our bleed to an eighth inch, top, bottom, inside, and outside. The output tab is the most critical. This is where our color conversion is going to take place and convert our images from, C from RGB to CMYK. We want to focus on the color conversion pull down menu. We want to select convert to destination and preserve numbers. The preserved numbers will maintain any native CMYK data within the image. This is important for our placed Adobe Illustrator image where we want to maintain our gray values as just black ink only. So select the preserve numbers and our destination. This is where we're going to convert into CMYK. We want to make sure this is select to the coded Grackle 2006 color profile. The Grackle profile is the largest CMYK color gamut for sheet fed printing. Under profile inclusion policy we want to make sure that we include the destination profile in case we have to repurpose this or convert this to another press. Under Ink Manager, you'll notice that we have our CMYK information here and also all of our placed Pantone color swatches. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we check the all spots to process. You'll notice that it converted now these into CMYK and more importantly we want to make sure that we select the use standard lab values for spots. This is important because this will use the LAB color data value for each of those Pantone colors for a much more accurate conversion into CMYK. And once we select OK, then we simply export our file. Once we export our file, we're going to open it up into Acrobat and you'll notice that our file is here and we're going to do a quick little pre-flight here and we're going to go into the advanced tab print production and select output preview. You notice our little output preview window will open up and you'll notice that all of our images that have now been converted to CMYK so we can simply go through the process and deselect our individual colors and build our document, our black, yellow, magenta, cyan for our CMYK value. 
as we mouse over, you'll notice that we are now in the CMYK color space, and so have all of our Pantone colors been converted into CMYK. More importantly, when we get down to our placed Illustrator graphic, you'll notice here that the gray is made up of black ink only. You'll notice that right over here, once I thumb over, you'll see that it's just a 60% screen of black. This was maintained by using the preserve numbers value for the convert to destination. This did not re-separate it into four colors. And the important part about this, this saves a lot of time as far as balancing color on press and also um, eliminating any registration issues on press and having to line up four colors for just one color gray. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Look back for more tutorials in the future. Have a good day.